Hello there, my name is Adaway. Welcome back to me and Christo playing a debuff Germany multiplayer. Ahoy. Um, we are going to att attack Poland at some point. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Um, we are doing Fate of Yugoslavia as a focus at the moment. So that will very shortly be all of ours. And then only a short hop to Fate of Greece. Hell yeah. And uh, then Danzig or War. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. We could. Should we do we do? Second Ljubljana award is to give. Uh, I think it's Bulgaria gets another gets another province from Greece. Greece. That would give us Greece earlier, and we want to do. Fate of Greece gives us them as a puppet. I'm yeah. okay with that, because you can take puppets' troops and use them as port defenders. Yeah. So I'd rather not fight them because they'll just join the allies and then it'll be you know. More land to police. More hassle. <clears throat> do, you, do you want to do Danziger War and begin the war of Poland before doing Fate of Greece? Probably. I think Greece is not, not a big thing. Extensive conscription. That's about nice. a manpower number. It is. And Im immediately 30,000 goes to uh, reinforce stuff. Okay, we are now, uh, every border province with Poland now is manned. I'm going to start justifying on Bulgaria as soon as possible. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, as soon as we don't fight Yugoslavia, let's do Danzig or War, and then we can uh, justify on Bulgaria in no time flat. Oh, are you man. doing military or civilian factory oh, stuff? Oh, man. Yeah. It's a good day to be us. <laughs> <laughs> We just because they've got the new, you know, the new tech that means there's slots in all the ones I've already upgraded to 100% infrastructure. Yeah, you're bringing oh, a lot of fighters geez. right now. Yeah, I think, I think that's probably a good idea. Currently building like close to a thousand a year. Nice. How are you seeing that? Well, I'm just, I'm you're just guessing. Oh, three, okay. three point one three a day. Yeah. Roughly getting close to towards a thousand a year. Cool. Well, we're going to have problems with uh, all rubber the moment the war begins. Oh, speaking of which, let's produce some more uh, of these. Oh, we can deploy units. Are these all just going on, on the uh, front line? What are these? Oh, there's port defenders. No, let, let me leave them to me. Oh, they're, oh, they're port defenders. Yeah. The ones oh, with right. the little castle. Oh, so, That's the... so they are. I was looking at the wrong one. No worries. Right, I can start to replace some of the inf ones on the ports with port defenders now. Port defenders are cheaper than inf ones. Nice. I hope these guys will be enough to hold the ports. I very much suspect that they will be. I mean, what have you got? And you've got a bunch of infantry. It's, it's, it's lit companies. literally infantry and entrenchment. Oh, they actually have all the support companies. I hadn't noticed. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be plenty good. That explains, that explains our uh, deficit support equipment. Yes, I have produced quite a few of those guys. Fate of Yugoslavia. We're having all of it. Hell yeah. Diplomatic actions can't progress due to negative political power. <laughs> so do you, do you want to go for Danzig or War now? Or for I would, second yeah. Danzig or War then? I would like to do Danzig or War now, yeah. Got a bunch of free factories. More on tanks. Oh, that's so annoying. The boosting in Romania was worthless. They just took a focus that gave them 45% can, uh, can, we, can we put a bunch of patches on um, tanks to get this deficit done before we fight Poland? There's my answer. 72 days left, yeah. So that's increased. i put a bunch, yep. bunch onto it, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to put a load on infantry equipment. I want to get these upgrades done. Yeah. Oh, almost let this tech slot run all the way to the end. So yeah, if we can delay the invasion of Poland about... 10 days after the focus finishes those extra divisions should be done okay they should be they finished training 17th of October nice uh, which is Just in 25 days it's one day it's 1% per day normally oh no that can't be right because there's different things that change this but it always seems to be 1% per day no it would do 1% that day ignore me ignore me I'm mad depends on the division yeah, of course some, it does. Some, course will it train, does. some will train quicker than others. Of course. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Wow, we need 80 oil. That's crazy. 
Yeah. Also, the, the, one, of the, one of the best things to look for if you're um, when you're looking to where to, where to line tank divisions up to push in, is you're looking to attack provinces that you have more than one province bordering. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right. So this, on this on this southern one, south of Poznan, we've got this one province, the Three. Polish in, could be like four, four provinces. Oh bordering. yeah, four. You're right. So you, so it can be it can be completely smashed on the first day. When did you say the extra infantry comes out? Huh? Oh, that's interesting. The tanks are out on the 17th of October. Is what, is what I was looking at. Slight issues. It's going to be a bit. It's going to be a bit beyond the uh, justification date. Did you notice what just happened? Did you I get did this? not. There was something. Just someone joined someone. Belgium joined the Allies. Oh. As did Luxembourg. Oh. So our front just got quite a lot longer. Well, it was, it was always going to be that long. Yeah, but not at the beginning. I was banking on having the Polish guys. But we'll be alright. I'm going to throw up level 1 forts all the way along the border. True. And we no longer get to do a war of movement through Belgium without French troops present. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. We can we can, we can still smash them down the coast. I recommend all additional, these additional troops get deployed to the French and not the Polish border. Yeah, we should have enough on the Poland anyways. Yeah. That will help. <laughs> More entrenchment. I think supply is not a uh, support company. What's it called? Logistics company is not a, a priority right now. No. So I note that you didn't do any variants on the tanks. Is that standard for you? I have. To, I normally I just forget. Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, please don't do any extraction tech until we've done construction four. I don't want to waste the uh, tech bonus on extraction. Okay. Thanks. Do you have a spare slot at the moment? Yeah, I'm just uh, just looking around. If you have a thoughts, do shout them out. You can invent anti tank, but I don't think it's necessary. A bit early on Light Cruiser threes. I don't know if that's gonna. That's not gonna be the make or break, is it? Well, you you mentioned doing Panzer fours ahead of time. Yeah, I, I thought it was forty tech. It's a forty one tech. I don't think it's a good idea. Two hundred and seventy days it will take us. Yeah, and it's not. I mean, how good an upgrade is it? Let's just slow down time a bit here while we consider this. Breakthrough is about a fifty percent increase. Piercing's a bit better. Armor's a bit better. They're quite a bit better, but I don't think it's worth 300 days practically in a tech slot. No, but the production cost is only very marginally higher. Yeah, a tiny, tiny bit higher. I think I'd rather do... Wait until the tech slot's completely full, and then put it on a 40 tech. Like, uh, infantry equipment. Can we get a research bonus for infantry equipment? Um, no. there is. Uh, I think we got it already. Oh, we may well have done. Uh, no, I can't see one actually. Hmm. I thought it was one too. Anyway, with this tech slot, I recommend. It might be. It might be worthwhile. Artillery. Um, you know these tank divisions and some of our other divisions aren't being finished, or the tank ones aren't being finished before we fight. Mm -hmm. Are they? Well, we could put it on um, when we finish this focus. Put it on uh, the division training time reduction one. Yeah, it could be a good Cause idea. Because that, that that may well on its own be enough to push them into completion. Because oh, it'll cut their time by twenty five percent. It looks like we can train in parallel thirty infantry divisions at once now. But yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah, I'm because gonna... they're, they're already on ninety one percent trained. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm pretty sure if it works the way I think it does, you just put that focus on and they immediately complete. Oh, really? So I didn't know that. That's really I think, interesting. I think that's how it works. That's very interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what... we know what that means. Germany refuses let's see to if this, Let's see if this, if this works. Maybe it doesn't work like this. Oh, it's no, 91 out of 98%. Weird. Eh? Hey? Okay, I guess, we'll, if, I guess they'll just turn off eventually. Oh, what? Well, it's, it's automatic, isn't it? The Danzigal War Declaration. I didn't know that. I never used the Danzigal War Focus. Yeah, it happens automatically. Okay, the first Allied attack has been launched by the Luxembourgians. <laughs> Those brave souls. <clears throat> I did finish my fort wall, so we have level one all the way along the northern bit of the battle. I am border. just pushing some of the uh, troops in the infantry army into the attack. That is a fort. How did that get there? They have a focus. Bastards. <clears throat> Are you are you taking care of the western front at the moment? I'm just having a look. We're paused, but I'm just having a look. Right. I'm pressing troops into the attack on the uh, 
Eastern. That division's going to be free. I guess it's probably worth blocking him off. Ah, oh, planning bonus is a mere 50. <laughs> it hurts me. All right, I'm unpausing. I think speed one to begin with. Yeah, that's fine by me. I think we should always have 200 fighters on air's interception in like all of our air zones, just so we don't have to pay much attention to it. I suspect we're going to have trouble on the French front, but maybe not. Well, hopefully the Poles should fold pretty quickly. Yeah, I think speed two is. Uh, I have already we've broken through on the south. I'm gonna just send out my our uh, ships into the Baltic in case the Poles send any guys out. You just you happy to just do the Polish front? Yeah, I can, I can deal with this. There's a couple of bad fights that I'm just cancelling down here. We've already broken through. Nice. Yeah, these guys are fucked. They're abandoning Danzig. Anti-pocketing AI has caught, kicked in. Oh, is, that what it, is that what it does now? AI prevents it. Yeah, it, def it, it desperately attempts to avoid being pocketed these days. You can exploit it quite severely. Nice pocket on Poznan. The guys are walking away. I'll send them in. No attacks on the Western Front yet. Right, Danzig's shortly going to be taken. Also Tanks have got a crazy front line going on now. Yeah, I noticed. Right, I'm going to I'm going to concentrate them in Warsaw. We'll push east from there. I think we should go south a bit just to secure these guys not getting pocketed. Yeah, like that. Volunteers from Spain, seven divisions seems fine to me. Oh, this is a nice pocket about to develop. Oh right, I forgot we're not at war with the Dutch East Indies. Nice. So we don't need to worry about rubber. Engage those guys. Poland is now 70% nearly. Nearly there. Danzig's taken. And no we pocketed them. No English troops on our border. They're abandoning the Savoyard front line entirely. And I'm not going to push because the idea is for this to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> AI doesn't seem to understand. AI is smart. Right, we got we got another pocket uh, around Krakow. Krakow, I think. Yes, Krakow. <laughs> okay. Still okay. This won't take too long to break down. Tanks are almost done. Poland has already taken 74,000 casualties. <laughs> yeah, those encirclements. They hurt. Okay. Oh, uh, we forgot to get. Well, we. I forgot to garrison roads, but I don't think that matters. Not really, no. It's only roads. Yeah, it's not. Not the most. We are. We are. Con oh, we almost. Uh, they were almost contesting us in uh, Western Poland then. Oh yeah. Not anymore. It's 300 fighters. 150 support. Do we want to VP rush or do we want to try and grind against them a bit? Who the friend of the uh, ne Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right. Free, free. Feel free to take your... I guess they're all going on the uh, Belgian front, aren't they? I haven't sent them anywhere. I've left it up. I'm going to move them all on to the, um, oh, the northern front. front. There. Got the African front. You just, yeah, you just nicked my I know, I know, I know. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> I'll, don't worry, I'll handle it. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to select them. <laughs> oh, right, we have some new ports. Right, and that's five Panzer Division. Cool. Uh, where's another inf one? I know there's some more of you. Just right, where do you want me to bring my tanks over to? Just give me a second. What's this? Oh, that's the tanks. Can we make the tanks red? 
Or not red, yeah. Um, I don't know. Something... Blue is, f blue is fine. Yeah, okay. Just going to pause a sec while I merge these two front lines. Okay. So the guys all don't immediately move and lose all their entrenchment. See, this is, this, is, this is tricky to know where to break through now. Because the belt, they've managed to reinforce Ghent. My... That's, still, that's still the most attractive place to, to attack. My advice is we get some more tanks. And uh, uh, meanwhile, we take out Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Bulgaria. What? So you, you just want to hold them in the west for now? As long as they're not attacking, I'm in no hurry. Right. Our industry's okay. better than theirs. Well, I'm going to I'm going to nick a few infantry divisions in. Okay. And go and I'm going to take care of the Baltic states. I've sent some over already. Are we justifying against uh, Lithuania? Yes, one at a time is faster. Oh, I thought I thought we'd go for Latvia first. Hmm? Uh, I did I say that, didn't I? Sorry, my bad. Doesn't matter. Uh, the Soviet Union doesn't have their normal claims because we didn't give them the thing, so it's they have to go all the way down to uh, claims in the Baltic first, which is two focuses away, so we have plenty of time. What yeah. kind of occupation law are you thinking on Poland? I recommend harshest. Of course. Okay. Lods. Okay. This is ready on the 14th of November. So don't box select and move my uh, anti resistance boys or I'll be mad. <laughs> okay. I'll try not to. It's, actually, I won't be mad. I'll just make you do it. <laughs> Can't force me. <laughs> I'll delete Rommel. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> just delete him as a commander. Yes. Uh, we got a reset slot here. Um, it's about to be 40, so you can consider it. Consider their text as well. Uh, which things are 40? I know planes are 40. Done it. They're not defending the African fronts. Oh, yeah, we've got troops over there, haven't we? Yeah. Forgot about that. So did I. <laughs> I've activated AI plans to take up to the uh, areas I wanted. The line I like defending in uh, the Middle East is this. Which one? If you look at the attack plan in the east, on Beirut, Damascus, oh, yeah. Jerusalem, I like that. Oh yeah. Line there. God, I sent way too many guys to the north and not enough to the south. A spot of bother. They'll never get through there, though. Not, not, not in the uh, far south. In, in the French front, you mean? Not on the Alps. Yeah, the, or well, the, Itali the Italian front. Where oh, the Italian front. In the south, they'll win that attack eventually because they'll keep cycling attacks on it. All oh, right. Okay. I've got more guys going south. Are you attacking us? Spain, I was going to say. <laughs> Out of the way. I thought better. Hey? There was an attack, but it was Spain. Oh, oh God. yeah, of course it was. Yeah. There's ten British divisions in Corsica. Oh, wow. That's uh, a bold move. <laughs> Sending some reinforcements. Pushing troops through the Middle East. Oh, and our main about to fall. They're going to... Get someone cut off, they're gonna be nearly, lucky. nearly encircle them. They are gonna be oh, they are, not yeah. lucky, they're gonna be encircled. Nice. And immediately crushed. Great right. front line there. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay the Suez will shortly be ours. Nice. Um, Jersey is fine. Sunrest going here. Oh, that's probably neighbouring province Sunrest. Ah, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, three military yeah, has like not even got enough divisions to fill its borders. He's got three divisions. Nice. Poor guy. It's all going to be over so quickly for him. The 
uh, close air support are sitting in Essen with no order for when you need them. Which which air base? Essen, just by Essen. Um, oh, over here. Oh, French what? days. Convoy raiding the crap at me. Getting through there. What, in the Rhineland, you mean? Is these 400 here? Yeah. They're tap, okay. bom they're tap bombers. Super fighter. You made a variant, did you? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> cool. The super fighter. Okay, thus ends Poland. And that is that episode. Okay. Well, awesome. thank you very much for watching, everyone. We will see you again same time tomorrow. To continue our con world conquest as uh, Germany. It's all going swimmingly so far. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye.